I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at automation in FL Studio. So, I've got a little loop here. Uh, you can see the clips in the playlist. So I've got a uh, little bass arpeggiator here running in, um, in flex. So what I wanna do here is just automate the cutoff really to give it a bit of movement. So at the moment it's, it just runs, there's no kind of build up, there's no kind of uh, build up and there's no change in it at all. So in FL Studio, all of the native plugins, uh, it's really straightforward to automate them. So you can just right click on them and select create automation clip. So here I've got the cutoff, so you can give it a little wiggle to see how it sounds and audition it before you actually create the automation clip. So, see as you open it up, bring it down, it gets a bit duller. So effectively we want to create this kind of movement in our arrangement. So like I said, just right click, uh, create automation clip from the menu. Uh, so what that does is it puts an automation clip in the first available slot it finds. Um, so I created a gap uh, prior for this to sit in just underneath. Uh, so it's slotted in nicely. I'm just gonna uh, group it up as well. Okay, so now that the automation clip is, uh, is in the playlist, you can add points here by right clicking. So you can right click anywhere in the, uh, in the clip and you can add a point to it. Uh, you can right click it to delete the point. Uh, you can also just press D on the keyboard to delete any points you add in the automation clip. So as we move this automation clip around now and play the track, you'll see, you'll be able to hear the difference uh, and it will be basically doing the same movement, movement I was just doing, but you have control over it. So let's look at that. You can see the cutoff is moving now in relation to this automation clip. So as I'm clicking in the middle there, you can create a kind of bend in the automation. So it gives it a more natural feel rather than it just being a straight line. Uh, there's different types of shapes that you've got in automation clips. So you can experiment with the different types of curves. Uh, there's everything from a basic curve, maybe a little bit different to the original one, a double curve here, creating a different movement. Uh, it also, you also have the option to do some quite uh, wild things like this pulse, for instance, as a square wave in the automation clip. Um, I haven't actually found a use for that, but I'm sure there is. And there's also a saw wave as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it back to smooth for now and just create a little, actually, just create a single curve there. Put it back to what we had. So I've got a bit of movement here. Uh, a very useful tool as well is to copy the points. So for instance, if I wanted to have this same thing happening, maybe the cutoff reaches the same level of intensity on the second pass, um, there's a few things I can do. I can copy the point here, so I can add a new point, uh, maybe down below, and then right click to add another point. And you can just try and match these manually, but if you just right click on it, you can paste that value in. So it's, you know now that that is exactly the same level. And you could also just copy this low point as well and paste it in. So you can copy points by either coming down in the menu and copying it, or like I said, uh, just pressing C on the uh, keyboard. So for C for copy and then P for paste. So Right click C and then P for paste and that basically pastes in the same value. So just show you that again. So copy it here and then paste it here. And you can see it's moving around, moving back to where the, the value it should be. Um, you can also just, if you wanted to recreate the same movement on the second phrase, just have, uh, just cut the clip down, truncate it if you like, and then just paste it in again. And then you've got the exact same movement duplicated. So another uh, point to mention, uh, you can set the max value of the automation clip. So if you wanted to specify, for instance, it maybe you found a sweet spot where the sound was really reacting, uh, you rather than coming in, opening this up and trying to edit it just between that small value, you can just set the max value of this clip. So let me try and show you an example of that. So for instance, at the moment we're getting, uh, if we made the minimum point, so if we reduce the minimum point, so if I did it now, if I just soloed the sound for you, as I increase the minimum value, that the lowest point is becoming higher. So if I just set this around here, and then I can use the full width of this clip 
to its maximum potential so it's easier for me to edit. So if I set, rather than the minimum being absolute zero, now the minimum still has a bit of sound to it so you can start to design some things. Uh, much easier than having to find a specific value on the clip. You can also then increase this to the maximum value and maybe reduce the maximum value a bit. It's a bit too bright. So now our minimum and maximum are somewhere in the middle. So creating maybe a bit more musical, less harsh, more natural sounding automation. So I've also got down here, it's a, uh, it's a third party plugin playing a little lead. So we've looked at automation in a, uh, in a native FL Studio plugin, um, but how do you do it in, a, in maybe a third party? Got an instance of uh, Silent One here. Um, and it, you'll see as I open it up and right click on here, I'm not getting the same menu, I'm not getting create automation clip. This can be frustrating because I know what I want it to do, but there's no option to do it. How do I do this? So you can see creating the movement, how do I automate it? So it's pretty straightforward. You find a knob that uh, does a nice thing when you tweak it. And then, uh, so give it a little shake and then come up to the tools uh, option at the top here and you'll find uh, last tweaked. So under last tweaks, it gives you the same options you see when you right click uh, and then you can just basically create the automation clip. And there you go, you've got uh, access to the cutoff of our third party VST. So in this video, we've looked at automation in FL Studio. Firstly, with uh, native FL Studio plugins, and then lastly, with third-party VSCs.